Section 1.4 is titled Compound Interest, Present Value. Present value is the amount that must be invested now to result in a specific future value in a certain time at a given interest rate. So if you look at example 2 on page 37, it says, Agnes and Bill are musicians. They have researched the costs to set up a small recording studio. They estimate that $40,000 will pay for the soundproofing, recording equipment, and computer hardware and software that they need. They plan to set up the studio in three years and have invested money at 9.6% compounded quarterly to save for it. A says how much money should they have invested? So, A is the future value, so they need $40,000 over four years. The interest they're earning is 9.6% compounded quarterly, or four times per year. So I is the quarterly interest rate. You take 0.096 and divide it by four, because there are four quarters in a year, and you get 0.024. N is the number of compounding periods, which is three times four years equals 12. That's the number of compounding periods. A is the future value. So A equals the principal times 1 plus I to the power of N. Now you can either solve for the unknown variable before or after you substitute the known values. I personally like to do it before. So I divide by 1 plus I to the N on both sides and I get that P equals A divided by 1 plus I to the power of N. So P equals 40,000 divided by 1.024 to the power of 12, or $30,092.66. That's what they should have invested. Part B of this question says how much interest will they earn over the term of their investment? Well, the interest equals the future value minus the principal that they should have invested. So I equals $40,000 minus the amount that we just found, that equals $9,907.34 earned in interest. Your assignment is on pages 40 to 42, numbers 2 to 4, 6, 8, 10, and 13.